lesson, I'm going to be showing you a rockabilly solo that incorporates jazz and jump blues licks. Let me show you what we're learning today. One, two, one, two, three, two. Well, howdy doody everybody, and top of the morning to you, Governor. It's time for another Rockabilly Guitar Lesson. My name is Damian Bachi, and welcome to my back room here in sunny Florida, USA. Now, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson, because I just love spreading the good word of Rockabilly. Starting back in the 1950s, Rockabilly music has been inspiring so many of us. And just like the Rockabilly pioneers of the past inspired me to play, I hope these lessons inspire you to play. I love making these rockabilly guitar lessons because I love making the licks accessible and easy to learn. Now here's how today's lesson is going to work. I'm going to briefly give you a rundown of each lick that I played, and then I'm going to break down the solo into sections. So in each section I'll play the licks at the normal tempo, and then I'll show you very slowly with on-screen tabs. Now at the end of the lesson there's going to be a backing track that I provided so you can practice the solo. So friends, if you like this lesson today, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. This way it keeps you up to date with all my newest guitar lessons. And also, if you'd really like to help support this channel, and you're looking to improve your rockabilly or jump blues guitar playing, then look no further. My ultimate rockabilly guitar and my good rocking guitar course will really improve your playing. These courses contain the licks that you want to learn. The courses are available at my website at DamianBachi.com. You can purchase them as a download or as a DVD. Each of the courses come with PDF file guitar tabs and backing tracks. Now these courses have helped thousands of guitarists around the globe take their rockabilly and jump blues guitar playing to the next level. If you're digging my guitar lessons on YouTube, you'll definitely want to pick up these courses. Okay, so let's talk about the lesson real quick. Now we're going to be playing in the key of A, and I'd like to show you something real quick here. Now when I play a solo in the key of A, I usually mix the A minor blues scale with the A major pentatonic scale. Now here's your A minor blues scale. Okay, now here's the A major pentatonic scale. And what I like to do is blend those two together and come up with stuff like this. Now that's one way to come up with some fun solos, just playing around with your scales. But when I came up with this lesson that I'm showing you today, I was thinking in terms of licks. You see what I mean is, over the years I've studied and copied licks from all kinds of guitarists, and I've built up this kind of lick library in my head. And you build up a lick library by listening to certain guitar players over and over and over again. And since they're all stored in my head, I can break them out at any time, I can play in the same way, I can change them up a little bit, I can kind of make them my own. It, it all depends on what I feel like doing. Now the very first guitar licks that you hear in the solo today were inspired by the great Cliff Gallup. I just love some of those neat little solos that he plays. Some of them sound like this. Or... So I kind of was just inspired to do something like this. You know? Now a little bit later in the solo you hear me play something like this. Now that's something that I took from a Bill Haley tune. The song Real Rock Drive has this little lick there that Danny's playing and it sounds so cool. So I've been doing it for years. And then a little bit later in the solo we hear this. Now I got the idea for that from listening to T-Bone Walker. It's loosely based off a lick that he played on Stormy Monday. And then to finish up the solo, that's when we get this little jazz influence here. I'm just playing some arpeggios, doing a 1-6-2-5 here at the end. Okay, so enough of this talking. Let me show you how to play this solo. Okay, so let's break this down section by section. Here's the first part.
right, so so far we've got all this. All right, and now we go to this part. Okay, so now we're ready for the final part. Well friends, that's all for today's installment. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you really dug the lesson and that you got something out of it. And again, if you like this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you really dig my guitar lessons on YouTube, you'll definitely want to check out my Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar and Good Rockin' Guitar courses. They're available at my website at DamianBachi.com. These courses are great and they're going to take your rockabilly and jump blues guitar playing to the next level. Well, as always, before I go, I'd like to leave you with some encouraging words. If something in your life just isn't right, then you gotta make it right. Because you're allowed to be happy, but you gotta make it happen. You simply gotta believe in yourself, and then you can do anything. And that leads me to today's quote. You can't always have a good day, but you can always have a bad day with a great attitude. Well gang, I'll see everybody in another lesson real soon, but until then, be good to yourself and to others. Bye bye one two one two three and